Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. So I'm going to be doing my December um, sort of end of year, not close out because I'm not finishing it, but just sort of an update I guess and a continuation on for my palette of the year. So this is my pen that palette for 2022. I 100% thought I was going to complete this like halfway through the year. I thought it wasn't going to take me long at all. I figured I was going to get tons of use and it turns out <laughs> there's a lot more product in this little face palette than I actually thought there was. Um, does it say on the back? So it says that there is 4.5 grams per like face palette or face item on the outside of the circle and then the inside has a little like setting powder which is two grams and that one I have the most product project no progress on. <laughs> I will get those words eventually. Um, so this happened today. I have a little baby pen in this under eye powder. I can't believe it. I finally hit pan. I actually was doing another video from this one and I just said to myself, I know I have a huge dip. I think I'm close to pan because I was doing a get ready with me and I went and used it and there it was shiny little pan right there. So that makes me so happy. Um, this one I've made substantial progress on from like you can see the little circle inside there. That's where it was the last update. I don't like make a circle in there it just stays like that so I definitely I'm getting quite a bit of use on that this one and this one I use together and I also sometimes take this powder as well and use them together but um I'm just I'm so happy because this is probably my favorite under eye powder of like any shade in my collection I love it so much um this one I'm not sure I'm going to complete at all um, I will probably try and find a use for it at some point and I do use it in the summer. It's a gorgeous contour shade for the summer. So hopefully I can get a little more use on this one, but I may have to repress it into another container with something else to brighten it up because it's just a little bit too dark for me to use all year round. And just for summer, it's only a few months in Canada. So I want to make sure I have something that is a little more usable all throughout the year so that I can try and complete that. Um, this blush right here I would like to complete as well. I am nowhere near pan. I have quite a dip in there but it's like it's like this one. Um, there's a dip going but it's not so obvious that pan is coming soon. So I just have to continue working on that. I do have that blush on today. It's beautiful. I really enjoy it. I just didn't use it as much because I had so much blush in other projects throughout the year. So um, I think this one will be really good to continue for 2022 or 2023. My goodness. But we were at 174 grams and we're now at 173.29. So there's some consistent use. I was also sick just a tiny bit yesterday. Um, I wanted to do a full face of makeup yesterday, but that didn't end up happening. So that kind of sucks. But um, I did my makeup today. I plan on doing it tomorrow and I plan on doing it the day after. Uh, I'm hoping I can do it every today is the 27th of December I'm trying to film a few videos so I will look like this in a few videos but I'm trying to um, use makeup every single day until the end of the year if possible I am going to be going out with a couple of my girlfriends on the 29th and then I have a massage appointment on the 30th so that might be the only day that I don't do makeup <sighs> and I have to film a video that day it's going to be a big one it's going to be a very big one so I'm not sure. It's like not one that I need to be in in frame. So um, that one would be okay. But I, I was hoping to wear makeup every single day. So we'll see. <clears throat> but I'm really happy that I finally hit pan on this. It makes me so happy. Like tomorrow you'll be able to see it a good, really good there. But um, I'm going to try and use this again tomorrow um, and consistently until, of course, the new year. And even, I mean, I'm going to use it consistently until it's gone because I am using this until it's gone. I was going to declutter this at the end of the year because I thought I would be completed pretty much everything except for maybe this shade. But I want to complete every single shade in here. So um, I'm still going to continue on with that. That being said, I am introducing <laughs> another face palette, which is not going to get as much love, but I just want to touch it a couple of times and it's going to be here for a while, but my main focus will be the Tarte Tartist palette. I want to keep that one and use that one up first. Then I will be using the Kat Von D Shade Light palette. This one is an oldie, but it's such a goodie. It's so good. And I have very good dips in... Both of these for sure. I have a little dip in this one 
and I have good dips in these two and again kind of in this one but again this is more like summer for me so since I already have a shade that's deep in this palette I don't need to go to this other one just yet so we'll see how that works um this one I don't use that much but I do get away with using this shade in the summertime it's not as deep as it looks when it's in the pan next to these other brightening shades because in the summer that's pretty close to where I'm at for a brightening shade anyhow um, so that works well my kid is coming so I'm going to close this off right now I don't want him to touch stuff but we are starting off at 222.48 grams on the Kat Von D shade light palette so I will keep you guys in the loop um, probably monthly if I miss a month, it's just because I probably haven't gotten as much use, but that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.